All right, let's see what it takes to get into this lock today. I'm going to start off with pin number one. Pin number one feels springy, two feels springy, three feels springy, four feels springy, five feels like it's binding up. Got a nice click, that feels set. One, two, three, binding up. That got a nice click, that feels set. Now I'm just having a really hard time finding the next binding pin. I just really wish that there was a better way to find the next binding pin. When you are learning to pick open locks, sometimes you're going to have trouble finding the next binding pen. This is a skill set that takes a while to develop through a lot of practice and just really slowing it down and going back to your basics. The video I have for you today is going to be part of my lock picking homeschool series. This is a video series that I created to help you start off in lock sport from zero experience and be able to grow up to an intermediate level. If you are not familiar with me already, I am the helpful lock picker. I really enjoy making tutorial videos on Locksport, and I'm really happy to hear that they have been very helpful to many. So what we're going to do today is go over my zipping test. This is a test that you can utilize to help you rapidly identify the next binding pen. It does not always work, but when it does, it can be quite effective. So what I'd like to do now is get right into how to utilize this test when you are single pin picking a lock. So what is the zipping test? The zipping test is when you have a partially picked lock and you're looking for the next binding pin. What you're going to do is place your pick in the back of the lock and just slowly withdraw it. What's going to happen is on the binding pin, your pick is going to get stuck on the key pin that is going to be binding up with the driver pin above it. When you are picking a lock by single pin picking, it is not always very obvious which pin is binding up. And by doing this really light zipping technique, you can often identify the next pin you're going to need to work on. I'm going to try to demonstrate this for you right now. So I'm going to go all the way to the back of the lock and pick number five. And then we're going to pick number three. So now we are going to still need to set one, two, and four. So I'm going to put my pick all the way into the back of the lock here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly start to withdraw the pick. As you can see where key pen four is, it is starting to get stuck and it is making contact with the driver pen. This one is going to be the binding pen. You can see that right over where key pen four and driver pen four are. So I'm going to lift up on that. I got a really nice click and now those feel set. So now when I'm doing my very light zipping technique again, I am withdrawing the pick and I can really feel it getting stuck on key pen number one. I can feel that it is binding up with the driver pen. And what I'm going to do is now lift up key pen one and hopefully set the driver pen above it. And as I lift it up on that, I got a nice shear line click. And now we are just stuck on one more pen. But what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly withdraw the pick. And you can feel that it is getting stuck on key pin number two. That is the last and final pin to bind. We have lifted that up and now the lock has opened up. This technique does not always work on every lock, but it is a very good technique to try to learn. All you're doing is you are slowly withdrawing the pick and the pen that it starts to get stuck on is very likely the pen that is binding up. This is a really great technique to learn if you are ever getting in a bind, and I highly recommend that you try it out. So what I've done for you today is gone over the zipping technique, which will help you identify some of the binding pens in your lock. This technique is very valuable when you are learning to try to identify binding pens. And also this technique can sometimes allow you to just get the lock open when you are zipping it open, like the zipping technique you use when you are raking, when you just rapidly withdraw it. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful today. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you all have a great day and just thank you so much for checking this out.